What's up, G.I. Joe fans? Welcome back to the MIB Master Museum. I'll be your curator today. And guys, we have another cool offering today for you. A blast from the past. All the way from 2002, we bring you the G.I. Joe 26 Marine Expeditionary Unit. That's a tongue twister, guys. <laughs> That's a tongue twister. There's got to be, he, they got to cut that up a little bit. <laughs> but nonetheless, the name is long. The name is kind of tough to say. But at the end of the day, this guy is loaded with accessories. He's got his infield computer system, power pack generator. He's got a uh, bazooka. I don't know what this is right here. That's something to load it with. He's got his helmet, which is super cool. I saw this guy. Uh, I got him from Toys R Us. He cost me about $30 back in 2002. He was well worth it. He's got his gas mask. He's got, you name it, he's got it. Canteen. Walkie-talkie, ballistics, glasses. Oh my goodness, this guy's loaded. Um, I want to say this is some type of this setup here. I'll, I'll get the exact information for you. He's got another pack on his leg here. There's those dreaded, those dreaded um, rubber bands. And as you can see, our guys, he's got his backpack down here. He's locked in pretty good. H harness on. Let's bring this guy closer. Get you a closer shot of him. I love the the rolled up sleeves. Another cool aspect of his uniform. Uh, once again, it was very, very easy to pick this figure up. Very easy to pick this guy up. Like I said, price wasn't really an, an, an issue. I was gonna, I would have paid forty dollars for this guy if I had to. That that's how cool he was. You can still get this guy on a secondary market. You're gonna pay a little bit more now because he's one of the more uh, harder to find ones. He's hard to find, but you can find him. Uh, once again, Cotswold Collectibles would be the site of choice that I would I would choose to if I were you you know a collector trying to find this guy to add him to your collection Coswell collectibles Amazon you may pay a little bit more than you want to eBay you may get into a, a bidding war but generally you you might be able to get him off eBay for a decent price but uh this guy is um you know once again he's one of those figures that that were uh that was a little bit under the radar I was tracking him though. I was still a part of the G.I. Joe Club, Collector's Club at the time. So uh, back in 2002, it was very easy to track this guy um, for shipping dates and, and things of that nature that, you know, he would be released. And um, bought this guy in November, I believe, of 2002. Somewhere around there. Just awesome. Awesome. Let's turn uh let's turn him around. He doesn't have anything on the top. Turn him around on the side. There's a marine there. I'm still we're still trying to figure out what this is for, this other piece of equipment. It might be like a satellite. The more I look at it, it might be a satellite uplink. And the more I think about it, I think that's what it is. It's a satellite uplink. Because he's got his computer programmed into it, locked into it. Here's the backstory on a 26 Marine Expeditionary Unit. Had to say it, say it a little slower. <laughs> uh, the artwork is just gorgeous. Phenomenal artwork. And these guys can do a little bit of everything in the field of battle. He's got the bazooka there. He's on. Uh, he's typing something in the computer. He's sending out information, location-wise. 
You got your other guy here. He's doing some talking too. They're ready to rock and roll. There's the thing. Yeah, the year, 2002. Super cool. Let's turn him on the other side. Oh, he has his... Uh, Here's his equipment list. M136 AT4 rocket launcher, night vision goggles, belt, leg pouch, radar dish, keyboards, stand, monitor. There you go. He's got a jacket, load bearing harness, gas mask with bag, missile tube. That's what it is. It's that the black thing is a missile tube and radio. Just phenomenal as you can see this is a a c10 museum quality figure here we've had this guy in our collection for a long time uh he's in he's also in our our main collection room here at the museum he won't be going to the archives We're getting there. We, we we got we got some work to go. Still got a little bit of work to do, but you know we've been able to kind of separate the the figures that that will be leaving the main collection room and going to the archives. And then we got uh, action figures from the archives that'll be coming to the main collection room. So we we pretty much got it down uh, to the to a point where we're comfortable with. It's a tough decision because ultimately it's my decision and I drive people crazy around here <laughs> because I'm one of those guys that, no, well, maybe we should keep this here. Maybe we should put it back. No, I, I, I kind of like this guy here and you just can't keep everything. And I, that's what I'm being told. I can't keep everything here in the main collection room and have it looking nice for you guys. So they voted, they voted against me the other day, guys. <laughs> I was outvoted by the board. <laughs> I want, I'd say, wait a minute, it's my museum. <laughs> We're having fun here, guys. Guys, if you have any questions, and look at this computer. It's just, look at the detail, the attention to detail on that computer. If you have any questions about the uh, 26th Marine Expeditionary Unit, G.I. Joe, we would love to hear about it. Uh, do you own this guy? Uh, are you looking for this guy? We would love to hear all of that. He's got the the cool gung-ho grip hands. I love those hands. Please leave a comment in the uh, comment section of this video. We would love to hear, hear about it. Uh, we like to get the chatter started about this figure. Uh, collectability wise uh, price point wise this this figure is going to be at some point an extremely it's, he's getting every year that goes by this figure is getting more difficult to find and locate I mean I know I've, I've talked to two collectors um, one that is looking for this guy and the other one that actually owns him said it took him a good year and a half to track him down because once again, you're looking for quality. Um, you can find this guy loose condition uh, without all of his accessories and his equipment, his helmet, you know, his gas mask. You can find him just by himself, but you know, nobody, a, a true collector doesn't want him like that. You know, you, you, you're looking for the complete set. And if you're looking for the complete set, it, it'll take some time. Uh, guys, the best thing I can offer is uh, my advice is, is just be patient on some of these figures that are out here that you're trying to find because it's 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 just not that easy. It's not that simple. Um, I would like to tell you that there's a place that you can go and find anything you want in C10 condition and the price is going to be exactly precisely what you want. But that's not reality. You know, the reality of it is if you find this guy, somebody's going to jack the price up on you. And uh, it's going to put you in a situation of how badly do you want this figure? You know, and a lot of times I hear collectors say they they spent way more than they should have on a particular figure simply because the figure was in C10 condition and they didn't have it.
for their collection yet and they needed to complete their collection and that figure was going to do it and so they had they paid you know I've heard I've heard a lot of horror stories where collectors have paid hundreds of dollars for figures um, overpaid just for the fact that you know what they didn't know if that figure was going to come around again and they were going to be able to get it so all of that plays a big part in what you're trying to do with your collections uh, ultimately patience is truly a virtue get in close and we'll take one more scan around him everything about this figure is super cool it's got the the newer head sculpt for that time period I want to believe that this is not just being held by those rubber bands and I'm correct oh thank you thank you he has a strap that's holding it and the rubber bands just helping hold that in place I don't know why they do that I don't know why they do that perfect example the rubber bands here but up here they're being held in locked in by the the, t the ties the metal ties yeah just a great figure guys guys we like to welcome our new subscribers uh, to the family guys thank you for choosing our channel we appreciate all the love and support we've been getting from you guys we definitely appreciate the love and support we've been getting from our our older subscribers without you guys we don't have a channel Guys, we're here all day, all weekend. We're gonna have we got more fun lined up for you guys. Stay tuned. Grab your favorite beverage, grab some popcorn, hop on the couch, and tune in to the MIB Master Museum channel. With that being said, guys, you know the drill. God bless. and keep collecting.